In this video, I'll be showing you step-by-step -step how to create and edit your chatbot inside of TDO. It is super easy to do. So the first thing you need to do is either log into your account on TDO or create a new one if you don't already have one. Then from here, it should look something like this. And down here, you'll need to go down to settings tab. And then from here, you'll need to go down to live chat down here until this page is popping out. From here, you'll see the appearance tab and here you can change a bunch of different things and you can see the preview over here of how it's gonna look like. From here, you'll see the background color and you can change to any of these colors down here. You can change the action color and down here in content is where it really is going for you to be creative. From here, you'll see a home page, you'll see a chat, you'll see a pre-chat survey and a minimized. From here, let's start with the home button. Here you can see there's a welcome image where you can either select your agent collage or your photo or logo that you can upload here. From here you can also add a header and change the header however you seem fit and add a message that will automatically be written up here. From here you can see the conversation starters and here you can select and turn on and off all of them you already have created like I have a question about the product, do you offer discount codes? what is my order status and all of this new one. Down here, you can also create new one if you want to do that and add as a label and click turn on down here. You can also click delete if you want to do that. From here, you can see the online status that we reply immediately or you can also change this to whatever you seem fit. Offline status, you can also change. It will automatically say we typically reply within a minute. You can also say a few hours or anything like that. From here, let's go down to visibility and position. And here you can see the desktop version and the laptop version. And here you can change the display either on the right side or the left side if you want to do that. You can add the button type in the corner or the sidebar. And you can do the exact same thing with the mobile phone with displays. Whoops. And if it should be left or the right side or how big the button size should be. Down here you can also add multi-language, which is a paid feature where you can change the default language and then you can translate them to any of the specific languages that TDO offers. You can also down here manage and edit translation manually if you want to do that. Down here at advanced, you'll see display widgets and agents offline. You will be able to add a background image if you want to do that or you'll also be able to add a widget sounds. From here, you'll see the save button and always click save so you don't lose your progress. From here, let's go over to chat function. From here, you can see the offline message that we are currently unavailable. You can also let visitors create tickets when offline and you can add privacy policy messages if you want to do that. Down here, again, you can change the visibility and position and the advanced features. And if you go to pre-chat survey, You'll be able to add the display over here, the message where I can introduce yourself, the survey fields where I can add email, you can add departments, and you can add new ones down here like name, phone number, and GDPR compliance. Down here, you'll also be able to see the minimized, and if you click on this, you'll see the button label where I can click and edit this little feature down here. From here, you can click save. And then from here, you can add the installation button where you can manually installate or connect them to either Shopify, your WordPress store, your WooCommerce, your BigCommerce, Adobe Commerce, or PrestaShop if you want to do that. From here, you'll also be able to see the chat page where you can add the appearance to your chat bots and your manually chatting features with an employee you can add the background logo, the company logo, company URL that you'll see up here, the headers, the welcome message, and the, of course the chat URL that you can copy to clipboard and open chat page up here. Down here, you'll also be able to add in a search engine optimization where you can add meta title and a meta description for this specific chat function. Then from here, of course, you'll need to click save and then you'll see the translation that we told about before and that is the introduction to chatbot. But that's how I do it. If you have any questions about it, please leave them down in the comments section below and I'll try my best to answer them as quickly as possible. See ya!